Yeah. We've always been into drugs somewhere along the line. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything, you know. You have to speak about what you know, you know. <laughs> the only thing we've never been is like an ex-drug user. We haven't, been <laughs> that yet. Yeah. we haven't reached that stage yet. You know. what, what do you like so much about drugs? Drugs? Uh, I don't oh. know, it's like 7-Up or, you know, lemonade. It gives you a lift, you know. Yeah. Some people are into religions, we're into drugs. <laughs> No, we we no. When we say drugs, we don't mean you know anything hard like heroin or cocaine or tobacco, tobacco, alcohol, alcohol like that. Uh -huh. just mainly pot, hash, uh, psychedelics. <laughs> you know, we're mainly into that. You know. Yeah. And I don't know. You have a lot of fun. You get high and laugh at nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Cheech and Chong are. You know, you get high and you laugh at us. You know. It doesn't take a lot of brains. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, satirizing the drug culture, you know, like... Whatever. Well, if you're satirizing it, does that imply that you can see something's wrong with it? Yeah. And that people are making mistakes with drugs, well, perhaps? we do is well, generally just portray it as it is. See, you know? there's no set rules, because you never know. Like, a lot of people say it was wrong for this guy to go to jail, but yet he wrote a great novel while he was in there. You know, because people's experiences, man, how can you say they're right or wrong? You know, it's what people go through what they need to go through. In order to you know, in order to get some use of living on Earth, you know, so how can you make any judgment? I can't. All we can do is, uh, is just be funny. That's all, and make people laugh for an hour, hour and a half. And they will laugh at what they can relate to. Usually, they laugh the hardest at the truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's <laughs> the funniest thing. Yeah, that's yeah. The whether it's good or bad. Mm. You're reflecting what what. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, no exactly. Moral, no, 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 no moral judgment whatsoever. Saying. You sort of came along at a time in rock and roll. A lot of bands were considering, considering themselves to be very serious, very into their music, yeah. etc. You just sort of think, wow, well, like, you know, we must get in and take... We got bugs with that, man. You ever go to a Quincy, you know, it's a 16 rock band. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think oh. that was the roadie. When yeah, the roadie. Out. That was the only humor. <laughs> the roadie or the MC that come out, you know, and... and fell into the mic or something, or, you know, mm. or some guitar player with O.D. on the stage. Or, or they get hit by a frisbee <laughs> you know, in the head. Or that would be the only, or, or some fat kid would take his clothes off. <laughs> That's that smoke a big joint. <laughs> That's the only thing in the was to laugh at, you know. And so when we started, we said, hey, you know, this is a gold mine, you know, because yeah. kids were the only ones going to concerts. You saw that. You sort of assessed the situation before yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Well, we were doing... The topless uh, improv theater before that, but then our first gig as a duo was in a, in a, a rock concert, and it was a 5,000 person rock concert, and it went over great. And we said, hey, this is going to work, you know? Yeah, it, it's going to work because it was we our were, audience. We were unannounced, and nothing is worse than an unannounced comedian. All right, kids, everybody stop. We're going to have some funny guys up here. Huh? <laughs> you know, or, uh, you know. <laughs> two minutes later, man, we had them. Do you like to be stoned for when you re actually perform? Only if we're comfortable. What? <laughs> 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 only, only if uh, two reasons we'll get stoned. If the show is doing, you know, if we got to catch up with the audience, you know, like if there's a white belt, you know, holy, Christ, we got to get with them, you know, or it's the opposite. <laughs> you look out there, and you know, maybe like one place we played, they had the prom queen in front. Yeah. And they no, announced the prom queen. The snow queen. The, the snow queen. <laughs> And uh, there was a speech by the president, you know, and everybody's, you know. They're all sitting in rows, right? Rows back on chairs, <coughs> very upright. And little crinolines, little frilly dresses, and here they are, Cheech and Chong. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we went back and got really stoned. You know. <laughs> See, Cheech and Chong is like a barometer, too, you know. Because uh, we can st stand back and say, if you got a Cheech and Chong record, we know where your head's at. <laughs> 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 if you come to a Cheech and Chong concert, we know where your head's at again. You know. Do, do you assume that everybody who who's into Cheech and Chong uh, smoke dope? Yeah, they either smoke it or they know someone that very intimately. <laughs> someone that does. And if they don't smoke it, they're usually allergic to it. Because our albums aren't, you know, to straight people. I, c I can't see how they can be funny. <laughs> no, yeah, I I've heard some straight people, you know, looking at so you know, some guy, some dover, say, hey, listen to this, man, it's really funny, <laughs> put it on and laugh before, hey, that's funny, and the, you know, and the guy be, you know, just looking, laugh. <laughs> you know, the, I mean, there's nothing to, there's nothing that says, okay, here, laugh at this, 
you know, you either get the subtleties or you don't. What's one about your folks? Do they, uh, are they into your humor? Or? Oh, yeah, my are dad loves him. My dad's a cop. You know what success will do to folks? <laughs> <laughs> you know what a new house and car will do to your old yeah. man? <laughs> you can hate your guts, man, but you come home with that car. Give me some of that, son. <laughs> <laughs> I just put a pool in my old lady's house. <laughs> Teach his dad's a cop. Yeah, he's a, a cop. Yeah, he's LAPD. Been on the first 25 years. Yeah. And he loves it. He's made, he made him a hero with all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> you teach this old man, really? You want to bust me? Come on. <laughs> Where's all the stuff I stole? <laughs> Don't, do you think it might be a bit of an in-joke? I mean, your humor is almost mm -hmm. completely based on, on dope. Well, dope or sex. Mm -hmm. And if you can't relate to that, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. you know, I mean, if, other than that, you know, get into religion. You know? <laughs> <laughs>